or what is it that upsets you? That they sold the information or who they sold it to? Is the solution cancel them? I don't think so. I don't think that is. This video is the solution, right? Maybe they need to realign their, uh, their intentions. Maybe they need to put out a public apology statement, right? But you have to understand, it was unethical what the U.S. did as well, right? Like, they're undercover doing that. Like, that's, that's, that's just kind of, like, you know, disrespectful. You know what I mean? That's no different from an FBI agent coming into your masjid and posing and all that sort of stuff. They radicalized the Muslims. They're the ones encouraging them to do this craziness. Look, the brothers are Syrian, blah, 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 blah. Then they get them hyped. Then they go to the airport. And these are the same dudes who catch them. This is a fraud. This is fake. You understand? Like, as much as you want to hold Muslim Pro accountable, also hold the U.S. government accountable for what they did. They infiltrated the Muslim thing by, by posing. This is entrapment. They posed as a different company. Come on, care. Stand up for them, too. Way of Life SQ. Keeping it 100. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to this beautiful, beautiful YouTube channel. I hope it's beautiful. I'm just maybe tooting my own horn and blowing my own trumpet as they say but it's a beautiful day here in New York City and I just have such amazing thoughts to talk to you about this whole thing that you're reading in the title about Muslim apps the Muslim Pro app you all know what that app is right we have it on our phones I have it on my phone I think I'm on my phone with me I have it do I ever use it no I'm being honest with you I don't a lot of us don't let's be serious here some of you have the adhan on your phone. Like maybe, maybe you need the adhan on your phone to remind you to pray. Maybe you do. I don't. I, and I, may, I use it mostly for like the Qibla. That's what I would usually use it for, you know? So uh, I, I'm just letting you know right now that this is the greatest blessing to happen to the Muslim app developers out there right now. A huge competition just left. You have an opportunity to develop an awesome app. So you can look at it in multiple uh, facets. And that's what this video is going to be about, essentially. So I have the Muslim Pro app. I'll show you right now. But I don't use it. I don't use it. I don't really use it. I have the paid version, which I'm also going to be talking about, inshallah. But yeah, um, I, don't, I don't use it. I know what time... The prayers are. I, I know them. It's, in, it's like clockwork, you know what I mean? So essentially, here's what happened, right? And I need you to ask yourself this. And, and, and this is going to bring up a lot of ideas about cancel culture and what we should be doing, essentially. So let me ask you this, okay? What is upsetting you exactly about this, this issue? For those of you like SQ, but I don't even know what the issue is. That's why I watched your video, SQ, so you could tell me what the issue is. All right, all right. So Muslim Pro, all right, this app over here, um... Essentially, a lot of us know what this is, right? Um, who they are. Uh, they sold the data of their users, such as ourselves, the lo specifically the location data to users, to a third party, okay? People who buy and mine for, for, for data and information. There's people who actually buy information, right? Uh, because then they sell it to advertisers. That's the idea behind it for those of you who are like, why would someone even pay for that? Um, they sold it to a third party miner, right, uh, who mines for information. And that third party happened to be the U.S. military. She as Q, it just got real. That's why I wore this military coat today. I wanted you to know I'm in the militia myself. I'm in the, the halal militia and the militia to help people, you know, get closer to Allah. That's the militia I'm in. You don't have no idea. I was looking for my kufi. Why? Because I'm an influencer. And I know that if I can wear the kufi, I can make someone else be feeling more proud about their deen to wear the kufi as well. That's it. I have an influence to do that. The SQ, damn, bro, you look so cool with it. I want to wear one too. Why, I'm, why don't I have a miswak stick? Let me get a miswak stick too. These are the sunnas, bro. Cut it out. Mining the data to the third party. Who the hell gives a damn? What's more important than the sunnah of the messenger? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell me what's more important. Nothing's more important. All this, I have money in front of me, but I don't have the, the, the miswak in front of me. Look at this. Garbage. Garbage SQ. Ah, I found it. Alhamdulillah. I found it. Alhamdulillah. My social security card's over here. Who cares? Who cares? I gotta clean it. This is it. From now on, I'm making a promise to myself. A promise to Allah and a promise to you all. From this point on, you will always see me with a miswak stick. Mark my words. Bismillah Mark my words. You will always see me with a miswak stick. But the problem with with, 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 with. the problem with miswas, miswak sticks are that you lose them sometimes. I don't know if you guys have that problem, but um, yeah, that's what that's what usually happens. Anyways, let's get back to this video. Okay. 
Miss Box Six to not on fleek. Got the got the Koofy got their dopey, call it what you want to call it. It's just looking so good, mashallah. Got the sunnah beard over here. I'm breaking out a little bit, but we're doing this. As you get to the point of the video, the real ones know I start this video whenever I want to start this video. You could try looking at the 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 the, the time stamps, but that won't do you any good because it's just going to say a funny message, inshallah, hopefully, if I'm smart enough to do that. But I start this video when I want to start it, so part of you probably already left, and that's okay, bye. This channel isn't for you. Probably, at least this video isn't for you. I never want to count you out because we shouldn't count people out. You want to cancel people? Is that what y'all want to do? I don't even know if I should say their name. I don't even know if I, I'm not going to say their name. But there was a video posted about, you know, everyone now, go to your phone and delete the Muslim Pro app. That's the video. That's the promotion. Let's not educate people. Let's not help people. Let's not ask, uh, make the offer people. Let's cancel people. Why? Because they sold the, 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 the information. Did we do that to Facebook? When you found, that's what Facebook got in trouble for, didn't they? Selling information. Selling our information. Facebook sold it at a billion scale. They, Muslim Pro is one of the most downloaded Muslim apps out there. 98 million. But that's nothing compared to Facebook, Instagram. They were selling our information. Why didn't you delete it then? Why didn't you delete it then, right? That's a good question to ask. But a Muslim does it and you want it, but you, gave, you forgave Mark Zuckerberg? Why didn't you delete the WhatsApp that's owned by Facebook? Why didn't you delete Instagram? It's owned by Facebook. Come on, right? You don't because that's not practical. That's not how you live life. Or what is it that upsets you? That they sold the information or who they sold it to? Ah, if it's who it sold it to, then you should know that the U.S. military was under disguise under something called Mode X or something like that. And it was actually a military organization that disguised itself as a regular third party. Isn't that unethical? Let's also talk about that. Isn't that unethical? How is that any different from the uh, FBI sending a spy to a masjid? How is that any different? Okay, now the real issue that we all should be upset at is the fact that they were selling our information, period. Here's why. Because it was without our consent. And that in Islam is forbidden. We're not allowed to do that, right? That's like saying that something that you don't even own, you're going to sell. You don't own that. You, that's not something you should even be tracking, right? And that's what Snowden got. I need to get some water. That's what uh, Snowden got in a lot of trouble for. Because he was exposing these things. Go check out Snowden's story, bro. Go check it out. The real reason, let me turn off the heat of my house as well. I'm about to move soon too, guys. So soon you're going to be seeing this change of scenery. To all the real ones out there, I love you so much. I love you so much. Turn off the heater. I'm here to get something to drink. Would you guys like something to drink too? Honestly, if you ever came to my house, I'd be such a good host. I promise you. I promise you. I'd get all types of juices for you. I'd make you all types of foods, inshallah. I would love to do that one day, inshallah. Invite, have a um, hangout at my house. People would be like, SQ, you'd be letting people in your house? Why not? I think that's pretty dope. I think it's pretty dope. It just shows you how down to earth I am. Or how crazy I am. Or how crazy one of you y'all can be. Y'all can like be a killer. But I don't, I, don't, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. What makes me feel significant from what I do is the fact that I give more value than anyone else. And that's what I want to be known for. I give more value, more honesty, more earnestness than anyone else. I pray that Allah accept this from me, but I'm doing it for His sake, but also to let you guys know that this is by design. This is who I am, but this is by design. I want you to know that I, I sincerely, I open up to you guys because I, I want to give you more value and I love you guys, you know? And honestly, I'm here for each and every one of you guys. Every single one of you I'm here for. If you ever need anything, just WhatsApp me. Just WhatsApp me. Oh, that's cute. What's, how, how can I get your WhatsApp number? That's cute. What? <laughs> or people are like, I don't want to WhatsApp you. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, SQ. I've already clicked out this video. I'm putting some ice in. For those of you who don't know what's happening, I'm putting in some ice, and I got some pineapple juice and some orange juice. And I'm putting it in a glass, okay? ASMR time. Okay, get ready. Like that ASMR. I'm about to start an ASMR channel. Okay, let's go. Pineapple juice pouring. Pineapple 
juice time. Orange juice time. ASMR. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Okay. I mix it. I just got to get a spoon and mix it or something or another glass to mix it because you can't just have that not mixed. Also, I need to upload my vlogs from Pakistan. I need to upload them. I don't know why I haven't. Maybe I'm just afraid or insecure. I'm not sure. Be honest. That was mad satisfying, all right? Cut it out. Cut it out. Don't play games with me, okay? Should I put all these things away? Yes. But I should also get back to my video. So I'll have my program away a little later. It's time to go back to the video. <laughs> I ain't trying to drag it. I'm not trying to get watch time and stuff. That's not why I do this. It's just because this is who I am. This is who I am. I take my time. And if you would like to stick around, please. If you would like to leave or skip, please go for it. It's up to you. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. I'm going to walk right here. I'm going to put it on the side of my ear. I'm telling you, I'm going to make this hot. I'm going to make this hot, inshallah. It's the sunnah. I'm going to re, re, you know, what, what are they going to reestablish? It's, it's still there, but I'm going to make the sunnah cooler again, bro. That's my, my goal. That's what I want to do, at least, inshallah. That's the, that's the idea of this channel, to be honest with you. Anyways, let's get back to this. It's hard for me to focus, guy. People are like, do you have ADHD? Maybe I do. But I have a billion thoughts going at the same time. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Get back to this. The real issue that we all should be having is that they were selling our information without our permission in the first place. It could have been to freaking Amazon. It doesn't matter, right? The fact that they were selling it was wrong, okay? Because it doesn't belong to them, nor should it stay in their system for long enough. And I recommended you to go watch Snowden. Okay. It's because the information is not theirs in the first place. They are collecting information without telling us. That's wrong. You understand? Now, the reason they do that is so then they collect it. I don't know if that was their niya. I don't know if that was their intention. But maybe the brothers or the sisters who developed it. I don't know. Sisters could be, you know, co uh, computer, uh, you know, coders as well. Come on. Let's let's give them credit. It's 2021, right? Isn't it? Almost. You know I mean, come on now. Like, let's get our heads together over here. Like, girls are mad smart. You know, are they are, are men and women equal? No, they're not equal. Men, women can do things that men can't even do. I can't 3D print a baby in my belly. That's something only a woman can do. I can't give birth. That's something I can't make food from my body, milk to produce. My, I can't do that. That's uh, we're not equal. Like, if that means that if you want to use that to think that you're more superior than me, okay, go ahead. But is the is the day and the night equal? No. Is the is the sun and the moon equal? No. But they all serve a purpose. Most importantly, they're equally important. You like that? How they're not equal, but they're equally important. All right. I'm drinking with my right hand in case this turns out to be a mirror image or something. <sighs> for those of you who stick through these videos, I love you. And for those of you who are Patreons, thank you so much. I love you so much more. Like, not because you're only Patreons, but yeah, I'm going to be giving out the WhatsApp number very, very soon to the Patreon members, to Patreon members, okay? Uh, with, that, with that being said, let me give you an example of selling something that doesn't belong to you, okay? Let's suppose you out there, my friend, got a PS5 and you were able to get your hands on it somehow, right? Like uh, that, that was tough, difficult to do. Anyways, you get a PS5 and you give it to me like SQ. Can you hold this down, bro? I'm going to, um, you know, a freaking, uh, I don't know, Pakistan, Chikwala, Chikwala Scream 3. I don't know. Like you're going someplace, right? For like a week or uh, two weeks, right? SQ, look, I don't want this to just sit in my house. You play with the PS5, bro. I think you're going to love it. Me? Thank you. Thank you so much. You let me play with the PS5. Let's go. Someone called it uh, the Play Shaitan 5 or something. I thought that was kind of funny. It could be cringe, but it's kind of, it's true. If it's distracting you from Allah, it is from the Shaitan. It is. But can you use it for good? Yes, you can. You can reinvent its intentions for you by having good intentions yourself. That's a different conversation, right? I'm, I'm going to make a gaming conversation soon, inshallah. I'm looking at the time, but I'm just like, screw it, bro. I'll talk for however long I want to talk. Alhamdulillah. As long as Allah allows me to. So with that being said, you give me that PS5. On the pretense, I'm taking on the pretense that I'm going to use it. Personal use. Okay. Now you're gone for two weeks and I get this, I get this money-making idea. I'm just like, yo, what if I invited people to my house 
to come play the PS5 and do some tournament or do something like that, right, for NBA 2K or something like that, and I'll make some money off of it. Here's the problem with that, right? That product doesn't belong to me. Does that make sense? I hope this makes sense. Yo, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a teacher, bro. This is what I, this is what I do. It's seven in the morning, by the way, over here. Bro, sorry, eight forty-four. Eight forty-four. Equal. It's quiet. I'm the only loud ass person in my block, in my area. It is what it is, right? So guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Let's get, let's get back to this, right? I decide to make money off of it. Is that halal or haram? Which one is it? Now, I know you're not a mufti or a scholar out there. I know, I know, I know. Is this something displeasing to Allah? Or is this something pleasing to Allah? Okay. Now, it was pleasing to Allah when He gave me the, the PS5 as a gesture, as good faith, right? It was pleasing to Allah when we both agreed to something like that, right? Maybe He should have wrote it down in contract. Maybe that's also a sunnah. That's also something from Islam for us to do, right? So maybe He could have done that as well. But khair, leave that alone, okay? But you gave it to me on the pretense that I was going to use it. Now, all of a sudden, you're using this money and something like that, right? Now, guess what? Let's suppose I was raising the money so I can surprise my friend with something. Maybe that's different, right? Maybe that's a different intention because I don't plan on profiting from it. I plan on doing something about it, right? Like, even if I were to use that to maybe even make one of my videos, that would have been profiting off of it, right? Because I, I, at the end of the day, I'm still winning. I'm either getting a subscriber or I'm getting some type of ad revenue for this. Like, I'm still winning. That person is not. So that money would have to be used to give it back to him. Maybe I give it to him as an Amazon gift card. Or I just give him the cash for it. Say, hey, I ran a little tournament for the sake of Allah, for the brothers. That means the intention of my tournament in the beginning was for the sake of Allah. You understand? The profit problem is, if I kept it for myself, it's because the, the, the beauty of the dunya surpassed the beauty of the akhirah. Not in this reality, we know what it is. But for a quick moment, we had a lapse of judgment. And we put the dunya on the pedestal. The pedestal. And we put the akhirah on the, on the back burner. You know what I mean? Like we, we put the akhirah as an option and the dunya as the priority. But if I did it in the way where my intention was to please Allah, I wanted the brothers to get together for the sake of Allah, have a little game tournament if Corona was over, you know what I mean? I, I just imagine that. I might do that. What do you think about that? What do you think? Do you think it's a good idea? It would, and I would just use that money to build a well or something like that. See, you guys don't understand this, right? I'm trying to use this, this entire thing, to just like keep putting it within Islam. I, I can't explain it to you guys. Just, just, just those of you who support me and watch me, thank you. Thank you. I pray, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts this from me just for one purpose, and that's so you get the reward on the day of judgment. That's it. Allah, keep me sincere so that these brothers and sisters who put their trust in me, their amana, this is an amana, Allah, please, please, please allow me to be sincere with them, ya Allah. Please, Allah, allow me to be sincere. Let me be sincere, my lord. If I'm not sincere, Allah, I'm no different from the Muslim pro app people. I'm not. Allow me to be sincere. Allow me to be sincere. I think I'm sincere again. All right. So also, I want to let you know, this is what I had to go through to plug. This is the same uh, mechanism. My old cat thingamajiggy broke. Why? Because my tripod. Like, can you see this? Can, this is what I have to deal with. This is, this is what I have to deal with. Who's going to get me a tripod? Imagine the rewards they get. Imagine the one who gets me a tripod. Imagine the rewards they get. Or, or, or become a Patreon member. I have expenses like this all the time. All the time there's expenses like this. Like my camera, my G7X broke. Imagine me having to buy a new camera. With your support, I can, right? So Patreon, link in the bio. This is, this is my block, right? That's what it goes for. All this goes back into the dawah. That's what I want to explain to you guys. All this goes back into the dawah. What I spend on myself is my own salary, okay? I just want to be clear because, you know, a lot of times this is where people get messed up and they're just like, well, SQ, what am I? If I'm paying you, I have the right to know what I'm spending it on. Isn't that huck? That's true. You do. If you're paying me on a Patreon, your job is to want to know like, yo, SQ, how are you using this money that I'm paying you? Like you're a stockholder, right? You're a stakeholder. You're an investor, right? You have every right to know that. Is it going to your, your cars and your houses? No. 
my this money that I get for Patreon, uh, maybe even sponsorships. I put it back into this right now, right now, because like my sponsorships are like five, six hundred bucks, right? Like, what am I gonna do with five, six hundred dollars? Like, yeah, I could benefit from it, but instead, I would rather get an iPad. I would get some Apple Watches to give out, which is coming soon too. See, only those who are watching these videos to the end have the sneak peeks into what's about to come. You guys are the early investors. You understand this, right? Like, you guys are early investors into Amazon or Google. That's what you guys are right now. Be Allah, if Allah keeps me sincere and keeps you on a trajectory of positivity and growth and helpfulness. That's what that's what we're on right now. Okay, so just please stick with me. Just please stick with me and just trust the process and just make the offer me. If you can't be a Patreon, I get it. People are like, "Ask I'm 12 years old. I'm 14 years old, but but Allah Allah qasam, you know, like I love you. I love you so much. And I want to help you." Then make a du'a for me. One day, just just make just make du'a for me. The honest to God, if you cannot support through that, what's more valuable is your du'as. It's your sincerity. Please, please, please make du'a for me. Please, but uh, jazakallah khair. Okay, do you understand the idea that I'm talking about for? <laughs> do you understand the idea that I'm talking about for the money? Right? It's the love of the dunya that caught up with them. All right. So is is the is the solution cancel them? I don't think so. I don't think that is. This video is the solution, right? Maybe they need to realign their, uh, their intentions. Maybe they need to put out a public apology statement, right? But you have to understand, it was unethical what the U.S. did as well, right? Like, they're undercover doing that. Like, that, that, that shit is kind of, like, you know, disrespectful. You know what I mean? That's no different from an FBI agent coming into your masjid and posing and all that sort of stuff. They radicalized the Muslims. They're the ones encouraging them to do this craziness. Look, the brothers are Syrian, blah, 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 blah. Then they get them hyped. Then they go to the airport. And these are the same dudes who catch them. This is a fraud. This is fake. You understand? Like, as much as you want to hold Muslim Pro accountable, also hold the U.S. government accountable for what they did. They infiltrated the Muslim thing by, by posing. This is entrapment. They posed as a different company. Come on, care. Stand up for them too. Come on now. Come on now. I love you all for the sake of Allah. These things get long. I'm militia, bro. I'm... What do you think this is, right? Jihad? Jihad, huh, people? Jihad? I am performing jihad right now. I am. Against my nafs, against my sincerity, against against all the odds, all the odds are stacked against me. You don't understand why. Oh, I ask you, you're arrogant. No, no. I just know that I only trust in two people: Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and me. I've come up this way. I don't expect people to shout me out. I don't expect people to help me out. Nothing. So if you want to help me on the Patreon. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah khair. That's why whenever yeah, even one person donates, Wallahi, I get so happy. Because I've learned to only rely on me and Allah. My first job at the age of 13. First job, age of 13. Well, you know what? SQ people in India are doing that too. That's why, that's why my videos are for them. That's why my videos are for them. For the working class, man. The blue collared people. That's what my videos are for. I'm not perfect. I'm not pristine. I don't have my degrees in the background. I don't got no books. It's your boy SQ drinking a damn orange juice. Bismillah. Miss Walk on the side. This is who I am. Gritty. You know what I mean? This is just me. This is just who I am. I don't want to po put a fake picture in front of you guys. I've got pineapple socks on. I'm drinking pineapple juice. That might make me a cannibal. I don't know. But the point is that you put a smile on my face. And I put a smile on your face, and that's what matters the most, guys. I appreciate you and love you so much. Um, I shared that with you just so that you understand my mindset. It's very, like, Jordan-esque, Kobe-esque. It is, right? I'm, like, the Muslim version of that, right? Seriously, because, because you have to understand, like, I, I, I had to see things growing up, and I had to deal with the reality growing up. Let me, let me change this recording. I'm going to just keep running. I'm going to keep running. Y'all want to watch it? Watch it. If you don't want to watch it, cool. But I want to keep sharing my thoughts. All right, let me see if I can. Um, okay, yeah, I did it. I did it. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <clears throat> test, test. Okay. That's how I was. I told you, working at the age of 13. 13, seeing my mom working for the first time. That's weird. Right? Always, like my mom had to work. She never had to work in her life, but she had to work then. Wow. My mom did so much for me. I seen that sacrifice. That put a grind and a hustle in me too. I don't stop. 
You think that you think that a person like why why shouldn't Muslims have aspirations to be millionaires? Why shouldn't I have an aspiration to be a billionaire? Why not? I don't care about numbers, right? So it doesn't matter if I am or not. It's not going to make me happy. Uh, that stuff like that doesn't make me happy. What makes me happy is giving more because I know that if Allah bless me with more, I do more because I do with whatever I have right now. So if Allah's like Subhanahu wa Taala knows best, obviously, but He sees that I'm giving from what I have already. And he rewards me because he knows that if he gave me more, I'd give more, right? Some people get exposed. When they get more, the truth gets revealed about them and they just hold back more. They don't even pay the zakat correctly. I'm going to do big things, inshallah. Just stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Have trust in Allah. Stay with me. Just, 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 just trust in this as well. Trust in Allah. I promise you good things are going to come. Inshallah. You all are a part of the team. All of you watching this right now. You know why? Because only a real ass dude is watching this for 24 minutes in. Only a real person is watching this. So if it's just seven of you, I love all seven of you. I love all seven of you because you matter the most to me right now. Simple as that. Simple as that. You matter the most to me right now because everyone else clicked out the video, but you stayed and I love you. What can I do for you? Screw all that. Send me your email right now. If you are one of the people watching right now, send me. I'm going to try to send you an Amazon gift card. I don't know. Imagine if it's like like 100,000. Imagine the video goes around and like 100,000 people say, I don't know. I don't want to bite my words, but I doubt the, uh, the first seven people who send it to me, I'll give you a gift card, okay? Just in case I scared myself, but I'm underestimating myself. Maybe it is a million people who send me a message so what so what i love you and may allah give me enough money i could give you all a million something uh, I, I could give something out to everyone I, I i promise you i would i really would like guys i'm aiming for something really really crazy right now and and for me to even think that crazy i gotta be a little crazy you understand like to to think crazy you gotta be a little crazy and i'm a little crazy i'm not gonna lie to you there is something wrong with me I think I'm crazy too. But I promise it's in a very halal good way. It is. It's just it's just what it is, right? So those of you who are sticking to me right now, 30 minutes into this video, or however long it's been, I love you from the bottom of my heart. I expect nothing from anyone. I grind everything out. I, I work out myself. I do everything. I don't work out myself. I need to work out myself, SQ. Come on now, right? But I, I grind out myself. I don't, I'm not used to people giving me uh, you know, help in Patreon. I'm not used to people wanting to help me. I'm not used to that. You know what I mean? I'm not used to asking for help from people. I'm not. Because I'm just used to being a one-man show. One man, everything. I hold the camera. I hold the mic. I hold the this. I hold the that. Everything. Alhamdulillah. I have pineapple juice. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah, you can't smell that. Because y'all don't want to smell that one. You know what I mean? Alhamdulillah. But I just love you guys so much, you know what I mean? And I'm not used to getting the help. So, you know, you uh, sending me some love through Patreon, you, you even writing a comment, even writing a comment, even just a thumbs up, it, sh it means a lot. That's your currency, right? If you, because that tells the YouTube algorithm to promote something. So if you can't, and, and this is depending on how I put this in the video in my intro because people need to be crazy to watch a 30, unless you're a real one, like who the hell would want to discover me off of a 30 minute long video, you know what I mean? So... I don't know what I was going to say. I lost my train of thought, but alhamdulillah, that's all right. Um, just know I, I sincerely, sincerely love you all, right? And the fact that you're with me, you stick with me, you trust in Allah, obviously, but you trust, you put some trust in me and you believe in me, that means a lot to me. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, I pray that I can, I, like I said, I want to repay this by protecting my deeds so that I see you on the day of judgment. And you could see what you, what, 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 what you got from your investment. Because you're investing in this. By even watching this. By even watching this, you're investing in this. Trust me, you are. You are. You are. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You are. Alhamdulillah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Sincerely, sincerely, thank you for all the love and the support. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our love and unite us in paradise. Uh, check out some of the old. You've probably seen them all. Let's be honest over here. I'm not going to even tell you to check out those videos. You've seen them all. Right? If you're watching this far, you've seen them all. If you haven't, go on a binge watch right now. I love you so much. I'll see you guys in the comment section as well. Uh, but until next time, I'm out. <laughs>